Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 27th, 2019. So, hey, as we roll through the end of this month, things are still looking good in the market. We, we have one more trading day this month, and the bulls are continuing to hold on to this trend. We are now 11 weeks 11 weeks into this rally and we're starting to show maybe just a little bit of rest a little bit of uh, consolidating uh, potential uh, move starting here just a little bit of uh, maybe a tiny bit of concern um, where we are and we're pressing these resistance levels here in the market so this morning we're looking at the futures just indicating a slight move lower kind of a modest move move lower right now only about 50 points um, in a move lower but um, nothing here of major concern. Our trend is uh, continuing to be very, very strong, continuing to look positively uh, to the upside. So nothing here of major concern, but we do have to um, respect that price resistance and be careful as we head into that price resistance. Now today we have a couple of big things going on, despite the fact that we have over 210 companies reporting earnings. We have a fairly busy economic calendar today. We also have the president negotiating a, hopefully negotiating a nuclear disarmament of North Korea. And we have a congressional hearing that is uh, historic in itself in the fact that the president's former attorney is expected to directly accuse the president of creating, uh, well, of, of um, criminal acts while sitting in office. So um, without a doubt, today the market has a lot to chew on. Could, though, that uh, political drama have um, impacts to the market? And I think the answer to that is yes. Anytime we, we see the possibility of a major um, upset in, in um, government, we can have um, impacts to the market. So um, it's certainly going to prove to be political high drama um, as as that hearing goes on. So uh, stay focused to your price action. No matter what you think or believe uh, about the president, let's set that aside and let's look at the price action of the chart. That's how we're going to make money in this market. So if we stay focused on price action, avoid Avoid um, trying to make any predictions, stay disciplined to our rules. Um, we should um, weather today just fine, but there is certainly a lot for the market to chew on today and anything is truly possible. So again, try not to predict and just remain very flexible watching this price action here. But when you look at the chart, here's the, here's the simple, simple answer that's going on right now. The trend is still up, the bulls are still in control and there's nothing here that would suggest that is ready to change just yet. So keep an eye on that and also pay attention to price resistance as we push up here. Okay, let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY has a little bit more um, danger in it to me because we have this triple top high. And as you can see, that triple top high is right now serving as resistance. Um, if we start to push down from here, nothing to worry about necessarily we've had some levels placed in here we could easily find some support in this area but but that could um you know be pretty harsh for those who are buying in the last few days um wanting to push this on through if we had that sudden move lower but right now there's no indication that we have to move lower we're going to get a little gap down this morning but it's certainly very controlled at the moment Watch this resistance level up here. We could push through there. And if we do happen to fail the trend, um, don't be too surprised to see you know some profit taking come in if that does begin to occur. And uh, particularly if news events um, really begin to swirl around um, today, um, we could see some dramatic effect uh, from that without question. Let's take a look at the cues. Q's also holding its trend, looking very, very good. Watch these resistance levels. We, we tested and broke through here yesterday. We pulled back below that level. 
this morning we're going to dip just a little bit further on this gap down but no particular problem here trend is still up everything is still holding on and keep in mind we still have these additional levels of resistance above that we will have to pay attention to and respect as we move up toward those levels taking a look at iwm iwm struggled a bit yesterday kind of leading the market uh, lower yesterday as uh, the rest of the index is trying to fight back iwm really wasn't having any of that showing a little bit of weakness and you can see iwm is gapping down this morning as well adding to that weakness just respecting these price resistance levels and watching them closely we're we're starting to show a little bit of of um, dip possible here in iwm but once again if those bulls they've been very very tenacious i don't want to suggest that this is this is saying we uh, have to fall the bulls have been very very tenacious fighting back with everything that they have and i would not expect them to give up easily here so we could certainly move higher on the day so watch that close let's take a look at the VIX yesterday a kind of interesting um, VIX continued to move up yesterday we had a little bit of a fail in the market just a little bit of a pullback um, in the overall market the VIX continued to move up but we're still well below this price resistance level right here in the VIX. So any move up, and I expect we'll probably have a little bit of a move up this morning with this uh, small gap down. But if we use this level as resistance and fall back from there, I don't think there'd be too much to worry about. Where we're going to have to have a little bit of concern is if we break through that resistance and then happen to hold it as support. If that holds as support and we bounce up from there and the day is coming, that's where trouble will really start to come into the market. Let's hope we don't see that. Let's hope we see uh, this area right here provide the resistance we need and uh, fear continues to uh, drop out of the market let's take a look at t21 22 we had a nice little pullback yesterday in t21 22 and little bit of rest coming here in the market i honestly i think that is a good thing i think that is 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 a healthy thing for the market uh, this morning's gap down which is a small gap down could move us a little bit lower just kind of keep in mind T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market. It just gives us that indication that we have room to one side or another to move. And we certainly have plenty of downside room for the market to move. But because of that pullback and the possible gap down this morning, we're also opening up that window where we could move back higher. So keep that in mind. We have room to both sides now on T2122. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a couple things to be aware of, and I'm running late today, so I do apologize about this, but our economic calendar, we do have um, international trading goods coming out at 8.30 factory orders. And of course, probably the bigger thing is we have Jerome Powell speaking again today. Um, obviously, he had positive effects on the market yesterday but of course anytime the fed speaker um, speaks we we want to pay attention uh pending home sales at 10 o'clock and then in that ea petroleum status report uh, which moves those oil sector stocks around uh, can move them around significantly and have uh, major impacts on the market so pay attention to those reports today kind of a full economic calendar on the earnings front over 210 companies reporting earnings today and we know that those earnings um, can have dramatic effects on on stocks so be really careful around those earnings events take uh, wtw as an example wtw after um, its earnings event dropping 30 percent uh, so you want to be really, really careful and respect those earnings events. Try not to gamble around those earnings events because they can really damage you um, in your trading. Um, they just gambling around those events is is 
is no different than uh, walking up to a roulette table and plunking your money on whether uh, black or red is going to hit um, on that roulette table. You have uh, your odds in those trades are are nothing nothing short of just a 50-50 gamble. You just never know how an earnings event's going to turn out. Let's. Um, Take a second here, and if this is the first time you've seen this information, if these are the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Uh, thank you to everyone who does that. And also, if if you feel in, um, inclined, please feel free, free to share this video with any friends and family. Post it out there. We're really trying to grow this channel. And you know the purpose of these videos is it has nothing to do with making money um, at all. The purpose of these videos is to help everyone do a little bit better job of, of preparing for the day. And I believe personally that preparation for your day is extremely important, um, far more important than luck of just sitting down when the market opens and feeling like um, it's okay to trade. We have to be ready and, and think about how we are approaching the market for the day. So <clears throat> if you find these helpful, please please click those thumbs up buttons, support the channel, and and um, feel free to share this with any friends or family. With that, everyone, hey, let's take a look at a few things that are looking pretty good. I still have an awful lot of alerts that I have set on charts and continuing to watch quite a few companies um, as they produce really good signals. So let's take a look at UPS. UPS, a very nice pattern here, moving up in a nice little trend, breaking its downtrend, consolidating over toward that trend. We wanna watch for a buy signal by the way, anytime you see a pink line on my chart, that's either uh, that's a current alert or a past alert that has been triggered on the on the chart. And so, as you can see, I have a price alert set on here. I'm looking for that that price action that will pop us above and give me that opportunity to maybe take this chart right into the next resistance. Now, that wouldn't be a chart that's probably suitable for a, a straight up stock trade, but as an options trade, buying some call options on that definitely pays off very very well so kind of keep an eye on that AKS continues to look like um, a, a, you know just a, a chart setting up to move higher um, we've already made money on this in right way options and you can see I've set another price alert we just need this to pop on through here give me a little candle that says we want to move on up and we'll watch this uh, chart and, and maybe get into that trade that's looking pretty good um, at the moment um, SWKS SWKS is another one of those that's just been consolidated consolidating across this level of support. We popped up through here on earnings. It's been taking a rest. Now we want to watch this chart closely. Now I don't exactly know where this trend is going to end up here, but I do know that I want to pay attention to this because we have no one interested in selling this stock below this level at this point and we have no buyers above this level at this point because we are in a current trend i'm going to be paying attention to this chart watching for the buyers if the buyers step up in here someplace and start moving this higher um, i want to be involved in that stock and move this right on up this by the way is also one of those patterns that everybody is aware of that cup and handle type pattern that can produce um, really nice results. So watch that SWKS, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, take a look at Crone. Um, anyone who is involved um, in these uh, cannabis stocks, uh, Crone really rejecting uh, this pullback and the down, downgrade that they received yesterday or the day before yesterday um, in their price action and pushing up with a nice bullish candle here and looking like it wants to move higher yet this morning. So watch Crone. Um, we also want to be careful as we approach these resistance levels up here. We don't want to blindly run in to this but crone looking good and other cannabis stocks also looking pretty good um, on the day yesterday so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits 
Remember, these videos are, are meant to help you prepare for the day. And when I, when I post stocks like this and show you uh, potential trade setups, they're meant to build your watch list, not necessarily to say this is a trade today, but something to watch and prepare for. Watch the price pattern as it develops. See if you can make a trade out, out of that. So keep an eye on those charts. Everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. And always, always, if you're struggling as a trader, never give up on yourself. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Thank you.